This is the Moyu Weilong WRM Mike Lev 2021 3x3. For quite a while, the Moyu Weilong was the puzzle to own if you wanted to break your records, and it's become a top name in cubing, beginning with, well, the Moyu Weilong, followed by the GTS, then the GTS V2, then the WRM, and now I guess the WRM Maglev, which came out at the end of last year. The thing that's drawn me to this puzzle is the aptly named Maglev function. For those that don't know, this cube does not contain springs between the core and the centerpieces. This puzzle makes use of the repelling forces of magnets to create tension between the core and the center. Whereas the traditional cube uses the elastic force created by a coiled spring to create tension, this puzzle uses magnets instead. The attractive forces of magnets have been commonplace in speed cubes for a while now, but it's really interesting to see the opposite being the case here. I'm really intrigued and excited to check this out. So before we do anything, let's take a look at my first turns on this puzzle. Let's just do some first turns with this. All right. Interesting. All right, so this is really smooth. It's a very fast puzzle, right out the box it's kind of slippery I guess, the layers feel like they're just moving very quickly. Um, the magnets feel fairly strong so there's that added bit of stability there. Um, yeah so very fast, silky smooth really, it's quite snappy, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the maglev, but we have Really nice corner cutting there. Wow, okay. This is uh, really nice. It doesn't really feel like a, a Mo Yu Wei Long, like the GTS or the GTS version 2, but it has its own sort of identity and feel to it. Like I said, very, very fast, but does have the, the added stability with the magnets and then the maglev. I'm not sure how far that sort of snappy um, sort of quality is down to the magnets, but I guess we'll, we'll take a closer look at that. But first impressions out of the box, this is a really nice, snappy, um, speedy 3x3, and I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it, actually. So overall, my first impressions are that this is a beautiful puzzle. The puzzle feels far smoother than an original Waylong GTS, which was quite a crunchy type of feeling, if anything, sort of clicky and crisp. This is a much smoother experience with much faster layer turning and by the feel of it, reduced friction between layers. As I said, the puzzle has magnets in the edge pieces which have adjustable strengths and by turning the screw head, you can increase the spring tension attached to the magnet and push it closer to the edge, which increases the amount of attraction between pieces. But adjustable magnets are no novelty nowadays. The main change with this puzzle is the maglev system. So let's take a deeper dive into what is going on there. So let's take this puzzle apart. As you can see, as has become commonplace for Moyu speed cubes, we have the incremental tensioning system, which allows you to tighten or loosen individual centers by eighth turns without needing to adjust the actual screw going into the core. We have the standard set of tools that come with a more premium speed cube. I'm not even sure what most of these tools do. Moving on though, and looking a bit deeper into the maglev system. Now a spring placed inside the centerpiece serves to create tension between the center and the core, which adds flexibility and the, well, springy feeling. This is what makes corner cutting more viable because a spring can coil and allow a centerpiece to move to a greater extent, allowing layers to snap down before a complete turn has been made. With maglev, Moyu has replicated this tension with magnets, one beneath the screw and the second right in the bottom of the centerpiece. Now a screw is fixed into the core and does not move, if anything it's an extension of the core. Thus the silver magnet beneath the screw cannot move either and the bottom magnet repels away from this magnet, creating an artificial tension. As a result, the centerpiece is naturally pushed down towards the core, away from the top of the screw. However, when we put the rest of the pieces in, the edges and corners force those magnets closer together, which creates magnetic tension. The natural repulsion of the magnets is being challenged, similar to coiling a spring. The centers of an assembled 3x3, therefore, are loaded with this potential energy. That's all well and good, but we do have to ask ourselves, how far is this more effective than a spring? Well, I, I don't really know. 
This cube only comes with one set of magnets, so the tension depends on the strength of the magnets and the distance between the core and the screw. The looser the screw, the more space there is between the magnets, therefore, the less tension. You can always get stronger magnets, just as you can always get tighter coiled springs, or you can tighten the cube. I think it's all about finding that sweet spot between the spring, or in this case, the magnet tension, and the tightness of the core and the screws. Looking at magnets compared to springs, I don't really know what the exceptional benefits of doing so are, other than that it's a little bit different. I'll definitely admit that when turning this puzzle compared to a spring puzzle, it's a lot snappier, the tension feels a little bit more responsive, it feels like it's a bit bouncier, a little bit more dynamic. I feel like that could be coming from the magnetic tension. There's also the fact that there are no springs in this puzzle, which means there is no spring noise. One of the worst things about speed cubes with springs is the horrific noise that you can get when the springs grind against the washers beneath them. So with no springs, the maglev system totally eradicates this issue, which I appreciate. As I said, the cube feels a little bit more responsive, a little bit more bouncy, and I feel like for a world-class speed solver, that's probably very significant. For somebody like me, I don't know if it makes that much of a difference. One thing I will say though, is that this puzzle is innovative. Whether or not maglev really makes a difference to me, it changes the standard when it comes to speed cubing. When magnets were first introduced into cubes, I thought they were a pointless novelty. Now, I kind of rely on magnets for stability because I've got so used to them being in my cube, and when I use a puzzle that doesn't have magnets, my turning is incredibly sloppy. Maglev is a new thing, but who's to say it won't be the standard in a year or two? I mean, turning the puzzle, it's definitely an incredible 3x3, and I'm probably going to use it as my main, so... I'm just really happy that the speed cubing world hasn't stagnated, and that cube designers and manufacturers are still pushing the boundaries of what's possible with puzzles. When we look at the Rubik's brand of decades past, we can see how far speed cubing has come, and I have no doubt that the world of cubing will continue to push itself and innovate. So Maglev, yeah, I like it, it's pretty cool. It's smooth and it's well executed, it doesn't feel like a prototype, it feels like a finished product, and I think that's pretty impressive for a first shot at this Maglev system. It doesn't take anything away from my cubing experience and the removal of spring noise is a huge bonus. Will I get the maximum benefit from this new magnetic system? Probably not, I'm just not fast enough. However, I can appreciate this puzzle for what it is and let's say I practice more and I get my times down and I'm solving quicker and quicker, I have a puzzle here that's gonna support me and help me to get those times down rather than slowing me down. Overall, I'm gonna give this a thumbs up it's a pretty awesome puzzle. The Moyu Weilong WRM Maglev 2021 3x3. Yeah, is that it? It's a pretty good 3x3 and um, I don't really have anything bad to say about it other than it's just too good for me. Um, you know, it's a waste on me, but I'm gonna keep it all the same. I'm gonna use it as my main and uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. If you are interested and able to, you can check it out for yourself and decide if you like it. Remember to always recycle your packaging and stay awesome. I'll see you in the next video. All right, goodbye.